Notes from the Warsaw Ghetto, the journal of Emanuel Ringelblum, edited and translated by Jacob Sloan. Emanuel Ringelblum was 39 when he began his notes. He was married, the father of seven-year-old boy, Yuri. Students at the large evening school in Warsaw consider him an excellent history teacher. He did some tutoring to supplement his income, but most of his energy went into developing sports clubs, chores, dramatic groups, music circles, and summer camps. He also wrote and published four books, including the history of the Jews in Warsaw. When the Germans first invaded Poland, Ringelblum, who could have stayed abroad and escaped, returned to Warsaw from Switzerland knowing that this was an historical event of importance for his people and a moment in time that must be forever a part of written history. At the recognized archivist of the ghetto, he gathered around him a staff and assigned each to cover a specific part of the ghetto. From these reports and his notes, he assembled his journal. On March 7, 19, 44. Emanuel Ringelblum was executed among the ruins of Warsaw, together with his wife, his son, and 38 others who shared his hiding place. This English version of Notes from Warsaw Ghetto is based upon the selection printed in Blätter für Geschichte. Warsaw, March 1948, and in the volume published by the Jewish Historical Commission in Warsaw in 1952. Unfortunately, it was impossible to secure access to full text, either the original in Warsaw or the copy in Israel. Notes from the Warsaw Ghetto, copyright 1958 by Jacob Sloan printed in the United States of America. Library of Congress catalog card number 58-8048, February 12, 1941. In the prayer house of the Hasidic Jews from Bratislav on Novolipia Street, there is a large sign, Jews, never despair. The Hasidic dance there with the same religious fervor as they did before the war. After prayers one day, a Jew danced there whose daughter had died the day before. There are pessimists who are afraid that the English will finally arrive, declaring, we have conquered to our graves. You can buy Jewish books dirt cheap these days by the basket. One actors are particularly popular. They sell for 10 zlotys a copy because the house committees are putting on place. At Krochmalna Street, they are performing the war melodrama, Tsipke Fire. When Hans Frank was in Warsaw several weeks ago in January, all the pastries were removed from bakery shop windows. The operation was accomplished in 48 hours by the Jewish police. He was at the Jewish apartment in 7 Zamenhofa Street. There was a Jew there was a carnival at Melody Palace with a beauty contest contest for the prettiest legs. The ghetto is dancing. The law and order service tried to break up the good time, but it turned out that one of the owners of the Melody Palace was one of them, and she couldn't be touched. The same goes for most Jewish entertainment places. One dare not play Aryan music, and only the music of those Jews who were Aryans by adoption. In example, Mendelssohn, Kalman, Bizet, and Meyerbeer. A large number of packages have been arriving from Russia and Yugoslavia lately, 2,000 a day. 
they are very good, fats, coffee and the like. They are important in feeding the populace. The Jewish populace sides with the Jewish policeman. You would have minded a Polish policeman, so why don't you mind a Jewish one? There are intelligent policemen who dislike to order people about, so they try to prove the necessity of some action by discussion. The infamous Professor Joachim Serafin, together with Mr. Meyer Bawaban, took away the best Judaica from Samuel Adalbert collection of Polish proverbs. Serafin was far too zealous. There are 700 prisoners of war from the other side, meaning Russia, working in Lublin. Recently there was an attempt to get them to put on armbands, but they oppose it even at the risk of being shot. Diamonds are said to have gone up recently Feb in February. The reason being that the others are buying them on the large scale. Barracks are being put up on Stavki Street, the infamous Umschlagplatz. That is where the Jewish population is to be transferred to wagons to take them directly from the train. There was a poster hanging at 17 Krochmalna Street. The first man who pays the Jewish council a single slot for an anti-typhus inoculation gets the dagger in his belly. Most of the beggars, street beggars, are from the refugee center. Page 125, 126, 127.